Hello everyone. This is another video on my thoughts on the COVID vaccine. To the black people, to the black community, to all African people in England, in the United Kingdom. As you may have gathered from my previous video, I went to take the vaccine. Myself and my wife went into a local surgery to take the vaccine. Now, let me share a scenario with you. As I'm talking to you now, if you go to Ghana, in the hospitals across Accra, the city of Ghana, there are people lying on the floor. There are people who are in danger of dying, of losing their lives because they don't have money to buy medication for their treatment and to buy medication for their operation. So you go to Ghana now, and I believe it's the same for most African countries. If you were to find yourself in the hospitals in Ghana, in the hospitals across Accra, the city of Ghana, particularly Kolebu Teaching Hospital in Accra, medical treatment is cash and carry. It's cash and carry. If you don't have money, as I alluded earlier, there are people who are sick, who are struggling with pain. They don't even have hospital bed. They are lying on benches and on the floor because they don't have money to afford the kind of care that will make them better. So that's the scenario I want to share with you. I will come on more scenarios as we go along with these short videos about COVID vaccine. Now, you have African people in the United Kingdom. You have Ghanaians in the United Kingdom who could not probably afford to pay for their medical treatment, to pay for their hospital care. These are the same people going about spreading false information, false news that the coronavirus vaccine can cause all sorts of damage to your system. Here is another scenario I want to share with you. If you go to Ghana now, Ghana is rich in resources. Ghana is very rich when it comes to natural resources. There is gold, there is oil. Ghana is the third largest producer of cocoa. Yet, most of Ghanaians live in poverty. Why is that? Well, that's because the riches and the wealth of Ghana is in a handful of pockets. It's in the pockets of politicians. The riches and wealth of Ghana is in the pockets of the few. So those folks come to the Western world for their medical treatment and they leave the poorest of the poor in Ghana. Now, people may complain about the United Kingdom and the state of the NHS. I want to say to my British counterpart, you need to thank God for the NHS and you need to thank God for your political parties. For at least when they come to power, they do their best for the nations. They may not do everything that the populace expect of them, but at least they do their best. On the other hand, when it comes to African politics, when it comes to Ghanaian politics, people come into power, people become members of parliament, people become president, and they control the wealth of the nation. They save large majority of the money they steal from the government into foreign banks, into Swiss banks. It was said that when General Sani Abacha died, the former Nigerian president. There was so much money in his Swiss account that could feed the whole nation of Nigeria. When this pandemic started, when the pandemic hit, when the coronavirus became serious and the UK government realized that it is taking a lot of lives, they put their head together and sermon researchers, professors, 
top consultants, scientists to find a solution for this pandemic. The United Kingdom decided that they will use the money they have in their coffers to give to scientists for them to find the vaccine for the coronavirus. And we thank God that scientists have been able to find a solution, have been able to find a vaccine for this virus. If you go to Ghana now, because only a few control the riches and the money of the country, instead of the government giving resources, giving money to scientists for them to find vaccine, for them to find a solution, to find a vaccine for the virus. That doesn't happen. They depend on the West. And if the United Kingdom have come up with a vaccine, if Germany and other countries have been able to give the resources needed to their scientists to come up with a vaccine, to come up with a solution to combat this deadly disease, why on earth are black people going about spreading false rumors and false information that the COVID vaccine will change your makeup? It will change your DNA. Now, I want to put a challenge out there to all black people in the United Kingdom, both far and near, to the black community in the United Kingdom, to Africans in the United Kingdom, those who are spreading those false rumors. I want to put a challenge to you. Since you are spreading these false rumors about the COVID vaccine, since you don't believe that the vaccine will not cure you, then you might consider leaving the United Kingdom altogether. Leave the United Kingdom and go back to your country. Take your children out of the schools. Don't let your children go to school anymore because you don't believe in the system of the United Kingdom. So take your children out from the schools. Secondly, don't go to GP anymore. Deregister from your GP. Thirdly, leave the United Kingdom and go back to Africa because you don't believe in the system of the United Kingdom. That is my challenge to black people, those who are spreading false rumors about the COVID vaccine. That is my challenge to my fellow Ghanaians who are spreading the false rumors about the COVID vaccine. If you don't believe in the vaccine, if you don't believe that the vaccine can cure you from the COVID, but rather it will change your DNA and change your makeup as a human being, then you don't need to be in this country. Go back to your country. Go back to Ghana or go back to wherever you came from because you don't believe in the United Kingdom and you don't believe in the system of the United Kingdom. I shall see you in my next video. Peace.